Hi everybody, Mr. Sid is back with another read aloud. Today we're going to be learning a lot about ladybugs. I know many of my former students in the past have been obsessed with ladybugs. Searching for them out on the schoolyard, bringing them back in, and me forcing them to take them back out. But I thought you should learn some really cool facts about the ladybug before I read you this first book. And I've written a whole mess of stuff down on this paper. Here it says, ladybugs are beetles. So then why don't we call them lady beetles? Plus they're not a bug, they're an insect. They are not all girls. So we shouldn't be calling them lady either. Then we have, not all are red and have spots. I have seen orange ones. I've seen semi yellowy orange ones. I've seen black ones with colored spots, and some have no spots at all. They eat up to 5,000 aphids in their lifetime. 5,000. Now we're going to learn about aphids, which is their, ma their main food source in this book. They hibernate in the winter, which is true. They go to sleep. We're going to learn about that too. Spots and colors are warnings. Mm -hmm. All the predators that might prefer to eat a ladybug are going to be turned off when they see the color in the spots. That means they don't taste good. Blah. So birds will avoid them as well as other insects who eat other insects. Uh, they live for about one year. And keep in mind, some of that time is in hibernation, sleeping. They can have up to two or tw to 24 spots on their outer shell. Mind you, that is a hard shell. We're going to talk about that too. There are 400 types of ladybugs on planet Earth. That's incredible. The hard shells protect their wings. And there's a great illustration of that on this poster here. Those red parts here, those are not wings for flying. Those are the protective shells. The transparent wing is underneath. They lay eggs on plants that have the aphids and ladybugs are helpful to gardens because aphids are these little tiny green insects that eat at the plants and can kill your plants. And so by dumping some ladybugs on your garden you can wipe out the aphids and save your plants. So let's get started with this book here called Ladybugs. It's a very simple book, but it'll give you some good information. It's by Margaret Hall. <laughs> oh look, there's one that has, it's black with red spots, right? Most unusual, one of the 400 types. What are ladybugs? Ladybugs are insects with spots. But of course, as you learned, some don't even have any. Most ladybugs are red or orange. Most. Ladybugs are about the size of a small pea. Ladybugs have six legs. That's because they're an insect. Ladybugs have two antennas. They touch and taste with their antennas. Look, here's one of those cool orange ones with white spots. Super cool, 400 different types. Ladybugs have wings. Thin wings help ladybugs fly. Hard wing covers the thin wings, as I pointed out earlier. Ladybugs have sharp jaws. They bite and chew with their jaws. Right there. Ladybugs sit in the sun. The sun keeps them warm. Here's one oh, that only has two spots. Here's one that has none. Ladybugs lay eggs on plants. Young ladybugs hatch after a few weeks. These are um, about the size of a grain of, of rice, very tiny. Ladybugs eat aphids, 
One ladybug can eat thousands of aphids during its lifetime. Now here you can see it's chomping away at some aphids. These happen to be an orange colored aphid, but there are green aphids, black aphids. We might be near the end of this book. We are. So I'm going to show you one more thing. Stay with me. And that is the life cycle of the ladybug on this poster. Ladybugs start off as an egg, as you saw, and then out pops a larva. Now a larva looks like a little dragon or an alligator, and it has kind of a caterpillar quality to it. It's going to run around eating, eating and eating. And then it's going to make itself into a pupa. The larva will shed its skin a few times over the next two, three weeks, and the hard skin will grow. This is called the pupa. And then from the pupa, a soft, wet ladybug will emerge. This is after about one week. And then the outer wings get hard and its color gets bright. And then you have your full grown ladybug. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning about ladybugs today. There'll be another read aloud on ladybugs later. Come back because there's more to learn. Thanks everybody. Bye bye.